avocado breath was really shallow and like I was kind of caught off guard by it. So I'm just aware of that. Like me. How could she fix that? more time. Was it, you just felt she went too quickly? She, she didn't pause for a long enough moment before she got started? Is that it, or? I felt like she, she would breathe longer, I guess, like, it was kind of something like, I expect like, <coughs> I don't know, like maybe, like. You guys agree with that? Sure what? I wonder if maybe it was not the length of the breast, but more that we heard it and it sounded like a gasp. That it was a little more afraid. Instead of, you know, just Wait a like, minute. Wait a minute. You're I in the orchestra. You're used to hearing breathing. <laughs> I know. But if we're discussing this, that doesn't mean I can't bring up the opposite point. That's true. That's true. So I just wonder if that's what it, because it was such an audible that we were all just Oh, Dr. Block and I just had some very fun philosophical conversations about that kind of stuff. So, we're but we, oh, I've been covered yeah. in this, but we understand. So like even, in, even in the chili, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah. Chelsea's yeah. that instrument. Yeah, where's, who's got that picture? Is it, is it, uh, it's on Dr. Dr. Cook's door with the umbrellas? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that, funny. That, that, yeah, they got rain ponchos in the front row and umbrellas like that old 80s comedian Gallagher of yours. <laughs> Smashing watermelons. A little bit, I guess that's the point, yeah. Um, I broke my baton yesterday in Symphonic. Sure did. Uh, it's the saddest thing, I was talking to the clarinet player on the left, and I don't know if this stand is like it, but if you look under there, there's a little fold over. These stands that don't have the sharp edges, there's a little fold, it makes a little tunnel. And of the one in a million odds, I had my baton in my hand and I was talking to the clarinets next door and the baton just went in that little tiny eighth of an inch little tunnel. And when I moved my arm, then I cracked the tip of the baton an inch and a half. And it was like my Harry Potter wand. There's no feather in there. <laughs> Disappointing. But, you know, it'll join all its brethren now with scotch tape on them. Um, so, yeah, Tony was just going to, I think, reinforce the, the, the sound of the breath and, and the length of the breath. I, I don't know. Um, it's interesting. Jeff, uh, take a look at your tape, I suppose. Um, I think the, if we're talking about length, to me, a staccato breath is less long. I'll, I'll try not to use the S word. I think it is less long than a legato breath. I think most... Certainly not all, but I think most wind players would breathe that way to play that way. I don't see a lot of people saying, beep, 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 buh, buh, buh. They can see most people breathe quickly for that music making. And again, uh, when in doubt, those are where most of the answers, I think, can be found. If, if we're trying to find what should I do as a conductor, if if you're unsure, try to ask yourself what you would do as a player, and you're probably on to something. Not necessarily always, and it depends on what you do as a player, but if, you're, if your foundation for decision making as a conductor is related, it's in the same vein, it's connected somehow to decision making as an instrumentalist, my experience is that good things usually come about. Um, so, Interesting comment. Jeff, no way do I think you're wrong at all, and, and perceptions are interesting. You know, and, and just because, well, that's, that's, that's enough of them. Two people's perspectives aren't necessarily going to be the same. And that's one of the funny things about conducting. You know, you're going to conduct a 75-person orchestra someday. Um, you know, it's, you're, you're not going to have 75% agree with everything you do. Not if you have a good orchestra. Put it that way, right? You know, if, you, if you're conducting a good wind band, every single member isn't going to think you're doing everything beautifully. Not if they're not if they're talented, not if they're smart. See what I'm saying there? I mean, it's easy to have a bunch of robots that'll tell you everything you do is fantastic. It means they're probably not very thoughtful, probably not very imaginative. If you have thoughtful and imaginative musicians. Regularly, they're going to think they got a better idea than you do. Regularly, 
they'll be right. <laughs> that's the way it goes. They would for you, or if Del Clevenger came walking in that door. You know? Eventually. It's any human being. Okay, so thanks, Megan. One comment real quick. So I thought, I thought also the ambiguity at the beginning might have been from... It took you about a measure of the staccato to actually start breaking the plane. Like you were, it was a, you'll see it, but it was like you were leading with your wrist, and then it kind of made it, I don't want to say herky jerky, because that sounds mean, but just a little bit unsteady, and you'll see it. Yeah. You like how he said that while he was saying, I don't want to say that? Yeah, you know? <laughs> just went ahead and did it anyway.